Hi folks, welcome back to Stacey King Can. Today I am making Chablis jelly, which is a kind of a fun thing to do in the winter, uh, a little part of your winter canning because it brings a little bit of summer into your winter months. Uh, it also, you don't need to have uh, produce available or anything like that. It's just the wine is available in the wine section of your regular grocery store. I ended up with this, this brand. It's, it's, it was a bottom shelf brand. They have fancier brands, but I just went ahead with this one because it was actually the only one I could find out of another one and they were both the same price. So that's why I've selected it. However, you're going to be adding a lot of sugar to it. So the ingredients that you need for this is uh, three and a half cups of, of the Chablis wine. Um, uh, let's see, I'm reading my thing here. Half a cup of lemon juice. Remember, we're using um, bottled lemon juice. You can't use fresh lemon juice from lemons because the pH consistency is not the same. And you definitely, when you're, when you're making jams, jellies, and when you're canning in general, you have to have a, a regular pH acid, and that's, that's what this is. So it's consistent. So you have to use bottled lemon juice. And then six tablespoons of pectin and wait for it, four and a half cups of sugar, which is a lot of sugar, but sugar is a preservative. And, and we're also using full regular pectin. We're not doing a low sugar pectin. You can't, you can't use low sugar pectins with uh, wines and such. You can only use that with, with certain fruits and uh, fruits and berries that have uh, pectin in it. So just keep that in mind when you are, when you're making this, but these are, these are just kind of what they're called soft spreads and they're great on charcuterie boards or, you know, whatever little fancy cheese that you want to put it on, or maybe it's on a, a little PB and J or eat it out of the jar. You can do whatever you want on that one. Um, but, uh, they're, they're just kind of nice and, and it's going to be real pretty in, in, in the jar as well. It'd be, it would be kind of fun to have these also the spring's coming and, um, nice for maybe uh, your Easter celebrations or whatever spring festivities you have. So, as far as tools go, you do need your you need your funnel. We need our jar lifter. We need our uh, headspace tool, our ladle, and our uh, lid lifter because we are um, heating the lids today. I'm not bubbling today. Um, you don't really need to do that with jellies and jams. I think it, it, it can actually put more air into your jar than what you should have. And I do have my uh, jars heating up here in the stock pot. Notice I'm using a stock pot. This makes about five pints of jelly, or excuse me, five half pints of jelly. So you don't need the big stock pot. You don't need a big, huge canner for that. So it's, so it's kind of nice to do, but just remember, if you're gonna use your own stock pot, you have to make sure that you, you put your jars in here, but you gotta put, um, you gotta put a base or you gotta put a rack underneath it. You can buy racks or you can do what I do, which I just put in my bands at the bottom of the, of the container here, the stock pot, and uh, fill it full of water, making sure that I have an inch of water over, over the half pint jars, and you're good to go with just using your regular stock pot. If you want to get out your water bath canner, you can do that as well. It's really up to you. But just make sure if you're going to use a stock pot, you got to measure ahead of time because it would be a real bummer that you are making all the jelly and you put it in the uh, in the stock pot and it's too short and you can't get an inch of water over the tops of the jars for a proper safe processing. So with all that, let's get started. I forgot to mention, make sure that your wine is at room temperature. Don't stick it in the fridge. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're pouring in the uh, three and a half cups of Chablis wine. And use a large stock pot for that. Add a half cup of lemon juice. And then add your, we're adding our six tablespoons of pectin too. Now the key to the pectin is I did put in the six tablespoons here, but I also added in uh, a fourth of a cup of the sugar. If you don't add sugar to the pectin the, from the pre-measured pectin, from the pre-measured sugar, it will clump when you pour it into the pot here. So now we're gonna bring this up to a, set the heat to medium. We're setting this up to medium high heat and we're gonna bring this to a boil and you, you wanna stir constantly. This is gonna go fast. Now I've got a boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the remaining sugar. We gotta continue stirring until this comes to a rolling boil. 
Once it comes to a rolling boil that you cannot stir away, we'll set the timer for one minute and we'll do a rapid boil. Now we have it at a boil that you can't stir away. I've gone ahead and set the timer for one minute. We're gonna rapid boil this hard. So we're working quickly. I've had the jars heating in the canner. We are adding the jelly to a quarter of an inch head space. Do a quick measure here. That looks really good. I've got my paper towel and I'm just using the lid water to kind of clean the rim off. Clean it as best as you can using my lid lifter here, grabbing a lid, setting the ring just to finger tight and be careful the jar is hot potato. And then back into the canner it goes. And repeat. Stock pot is full. I'm measuring to make sure we have at least an inch of water over the top of the, of the jars. And I do, we're gonna get this up to a, a boil. And when it starts a rolling boil, we will set the timer for 10 minutes. Got a rolling boil going, so I've set the timer for 10 minutes. Timer has gone off, so I've cut the heat on the stock pot here. We're gonna go ahead and open the lid and make sure to open the lid away from your face so you don't get a facial you don't want. The steam is hot. And we're gonna let it set here for five minutes before we take the jars out. This, this uh, letting them set in the jar, in the, uh, in the canner um, for five minutes before with the lid off before taking them out of the, the stock pot or the canner will help uh, the lid seal. Um, it's great for making sure they seal faster. That is Shibley Jelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe to the page below and the recipes below as well. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, by all means, you can reach out to me on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. Uh, my website is www.stacycancan.com and my email is info at stacycancan.com. Thanks again for joining me and until next time, happy canning.